Hi, Todd here from Urban Sound Studio, and today we're taking a look at five different microphones from the Pro XLR line by Blue Microphones. Now, microphones are all about sound quality, but there's something special about these mics. While they all sound great, clients are instantly inspired to sing or play better just based on the look of the mics. Now, the look is not only about cosmetics. There's something special about each one of these mics. Whether it's the ability to interchange different capsules, being able to select a different polar pattern directly on the mic, having a nice transformer output, or having a swivel head, which makes it easier to get into some tighter spots. Each one of these microphones has something unique going on. For each example, we made sure to carefully measure the distance between the microphone capsule and the source. The microphones we'll be covering today are the Kiwi, the Bottle Rocket, the Blueberry, the Dragonfly, and the Mouse. Let's get started by introducing the differences between the five microphones. The Kiwi is Blue's flagship multi-pattern FET condenser microphone. It features nine selectable polar patterns to find the perfect sound. Today we'll be using the cardioid pattern to match the other four microphones. Place it in front of any vocalist for instant inspiration due to its unique look, its robust size, and the fact that this microphone can stand up to any other top microphone on the market. The Bottle Rocket is the most flexible of the five microphones in the sense that you could switch out for different bottle caps or capsules. Today we'll be using the B8 capsule, which is included with the Bottle Rocket. It features a nice full sound and a mid-range bump. Switch out for a different capsule to get a different polar pattern or tone. This is the Blueberry. It's an easy to use cardioid condenser microphone. It handles SPL really well and has a refined capsule that blends with an output transformer to add body. Put it in front of any vocalist or instrumentalist and they'll also be inspired by the unique look and shock mount. This is the Dragonfly. It has a unique look that's unmistakable and it features a rotating head that allows you to get into tight spots that other large diaphragm condenser microphones wouldn't be able to achieve. It's great on pianos, guitars, female vocals, and even drum overheads. It has a nice silky top and a tight bottom that never gets muddy. The mouse features a rotating head and a nice low-end transformer sound. It's perfect for male vocalists that want to get that Barry White quality to their voice. It's also great on bass instruments. I love it on upright bass, cellos, and kick drums. And if you're looking for that radio announcer sound without the mud that you get from dynamic mics, the mouse might be the right microphone for you. Let's take a listen to how each of these microphones performs with a steel string guitar and then with a nylon string guitar.
Now let's compare these five microphones by listening to them in front of a double bass. Let's listen to how each of these mics captures the room in front of a drum kit. Now let's listen specifically to how these microphones perform in front of the kick drum with a snare also being played. Thanks for watching. Do you own one of these microphones or were you considering purchasing one for yourself? If so, please leave a comment in the comments below. And as always, please like and subscribe. Thanks.